Hello, everyone, and welcome to Alpine Consulting Partners' first Oracle Data Integrator demo. Today's demo is the first in a series which is meant to detail new features and functionality within the tool set, as well as to highlight some of the unique changes that have taken place within the tool within the 12C release. My name is Peter Shepard. I'm a senior manager within Alpine's delivery organization, and I primarily build and deploy Hyperion planning and SPACE applications, as well as the data movement pieces around those applications. Now, before we jump into the demo, a quick explanation of what Oracle Data Integrator is for those who may be unaware of the tool. Uh, ODI is basically an extract, load, and transform tool produced by Oracle, which allows uh, the user to manipulate, manage, and build data sets in a, in a graphical environment and map those data sets between different business intelligence systems. For today's demo, we're going to be talking about Oracle Data Integrator mappings. Now, mappings had been known as interfaces prior to version 12, and really what mappings allow us to do is to map different data sets from disparate technologies, uh, filter them, map them, manipulate them, and load them into a target uh, technology. They're really the core of data movement within ODI, and it, it's the component that allows us to move data from one system to another. For today's demo, I'm going to use mappings to take the contents of two flat files, load the contents of those flat files into a series of staging tables and MySQL, and then combine those two data sets, once again using mappings, uh, to populate a destination staging table within MySQL. You can see here I have these two files, the first of which is an inventory file, which is just a common delimited two-column file. I also have a sales file, which has a similar format, where we're once again a common delimited file, this time with an ID column and a salesperson column. At this point, I'm logged into ODI, and I'm assuming the models have already been created, which correspond to the flat files and SQL tables that I'll be using. Uh, to create a new mapping within my project section, I right-click on mappings and select new mapping. I then title the mapping something specific to the file load. In this case, I'm loading sales from a flat file into a MySQL table. This opens up the working area to my mapping where I can start pulling sources and destinations into my working area. Here I'm selecting my destination and I'm, I'm dropping it into the mapping. Uh, you can see here I'm now selecting the source model and at this point I'm going to map the columns together. You can see here it's a simple drag and drop operation uh, and this is going to basically take the components of my flat file and move it into a, a staging table. Uh, I click on the physical tab here to review the mapping that has been created as well as to set some load properties for this mapping. Uh, you can see here I have some options around my destination table where I can choose to truncate it before load. I'm going to go ahead and flip that to true so that each time this is run, the contents will be refreshed within the staging table. I hit save and then I'm able to execute this mapping. I'm going to use the defaults here. And I'm now going to tab over to the operator tab to ensure that this ran correctly. I can see from the log that it did and that we inserted five rows. And I'm going to go ahead and check the destination model to ensure that the data was loaded properly. I can see from reviewing the model that my data aligns with what was present in the flat file. So I'm good to move on to my next mapping. Once again, I'm going to right click on mappings and select new mapping. And I'm going to give this mapping a unique name. In this case, I'm loading data from my inventory flat file into a, a similar MySQL table. I get my working area again, and I'm basically repeating the same drag and drop operation, although this time uh, differentiating the, the source and target, as now I'm dealing with my inventory flat file and destination table. Once again, flipping the same load properties here, where I'll be truncating the destination table each time I I load the data. I then execute this once again using the default properties. And I'm able to ensure, after looking at the operator tab, that there was in fact data loaded. I then go to my model and ensure that the same data was loaded that was present in the flat file. At this point, I have my data staged into the tables that I was looking for, so I'm 
now ready to create a new mapping that will combine the data sets in those two tables and drop them into a third staging table. Uh, once again, creating a new mapping, giving it a unique name. Uh, and here I'm going to select my two staging tables in our source, uh, and then I'll select a filled orders table as our destination. Once again, a drag and drop operation to map the columns from my source to my target. And here I'm now going to do a quick join within ODI, uh, where I'm basically defining a lookup to ensure that if an ID is present in one table and the other, that the, the map data goes together into the, the destination table. Once again, going to the physical tab, I'm going to toggle a similar feature where I'll be truncating and reloading this, the destination table each time. I'm now ready to save and execute this mapping. And if all goes well, I should see that map data land in my destination table. So once again, checking the operator tab to ensure we had data inserted. And now I'll take a look at my destination table to ensure that map data made it all the way through, which it looks like it did. This is obviously a very basic example of using mappings within ODI and can be greatly expanded to include different technologies, filtering logic and manipulation, but hopefully it demonstrates the power of the feature within the tool and how you can use it on your own projects. If you have any questions with this or would be interested in having a conversation with what Alpine Consulting Partners can do for your organization, I'd encourage you to visit us at alpine-consulting.com or shoot us an email at team at alpine-consulting.com. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.